In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Welcome to a new episode in our uh, show, Stories. The story of today, it's about somebody that you think that he is not good, or in the eyes of the people, sometimes we look to those who are very poor, comes to the church in a different way. And that guy was a worker, a handyman, and he had to work until the sickness uh, got him very much. He couldn't be able to uh, work anymore. So what happened, he had to go to the church always, but he never, never get any help in the church. He was begging. He was as a, a beggar in the street, but when he comes to the church, he believed that the church is only for prayer, not nothing else. So he never accepted anybody to help him or to support him financially in the church. So one day, I found him, Abuna, saying that story. He, he said, I found him at the end of the liturgy, standing alone in the church, looking right and left, and he was um, uh, shocked. I said to him, what's going on? Abuna said, the, the guy said, uh, I don't find my shoes. So I looked for him, Abuna said, I looked for him uh, about uh, for his shoes everywhere, right and left, to see where is his shoes. I found only one shoes, and it was brand new shoes. I said to him, maybe this is your shoes. He said, no, 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 it's not my shoes. My shoes is very old and a lot of cut in it. So I, I don't know, I don't know what's exactly um, going on because uh, mine is very, uh, very old and this one is very brand new. I said to him, okay, take it now. I said, no, I can't take it, it's not mine. And he kept looking, looking for uh, almost half an hour. And uh, I said to him, please take this one and go. He said, no, I will go uh, shoeless. So Abuna tried hard to convince him to take this shoe, but the, the, the guy, uh, was refusing. So fa the father told him, okay, take the shoes now, this one, please, for my sake, and whenever I find your shoes, I will, uh, I will ask everyone and I will see if I can get your shoes back or not. So he took it and he, he, was, he felt so bad that he's taking something uh, new uh, or a, a, shoes, a new shoes instead of his bad uh, old uh, shoes. A father said, one day I went to one of the deacons in his house, and then I found him wearing the dirty, the old shoes of the old man. So I, I asked him directly in his eyes, why you took the shoes of the, uh, of the poor man and instead of your shoes? He said, father, how did you know? He said, I'm asking you, I know. He said, because I was really, uh, the, that man really amazed me. Uh, he's very, very poor, as you know, and uh, it, it, it's very clear that he is very poor. But uh, every time I try to give him something or uh, any, uh, any food even, he keeps saying, thank you, thank you so much. And he never, uh, never take from me anything. And uh, when I insist, he said, God, never forget me, my, my beloved uh, son. So please uh, let me go without taking anything. And he never accepted to take anything from my hand. And last Sunday, actually, when I went to the church, I was wearing a, a new shoes, but I found his shoes close to mine. So I was so happy and I said, yeah, this is my chance. I will change uh, his shoes uh, to my shoes. And I left the new one and I took the old uh, dirty one. And I, I left the church. I was so happy to do something for my brother in Christ. And it's, it's nothing, uh, Father, it's nothing. But uh, I feel so, ha so happy that I, I offered something to the Lord. Uh, father was so happy to hear that and 
he felt that uh, the God's grace is working among his congregation and his, uh, his people. And he remembered the, the verse which is saying, for God loves a cheerful giver. And that guy give whatever he has very cheerfully. And uh, he, he really uh, fulfilled the, the verse exactly. He gave with a cheerful heart. We have to, to give, my friends, and we have to think about the poor people. It doesn't matter that the people are saying that you are giving or not. But you yourself, you have to give. And giving, it's not only money, but anything else. Even you give somebody a smile, it's a, a cheerful giver. Even you are in pain, you can give others something good. A smile, love, hug, uh, uh, warm greetings, something like that. We don't give. Most of the time we, we are Sometimes we are very selfish, we think about our comfort zone. So if you think about some people are new in our church, uh, newcomers to our church, and we don't give them anything. They don't need anything from you, but they need love, they need care. So you can give cheerfully. Where are you from, somebody that you saw in the church you see in the church for the first time in your life. Why you didn't go to him and ask him, how are you, uh, I didn't see you before, uh, and make a friendship with him. The poor around us, we have to give them, of course. And we have to think about those who are, even if our, in our church there is no poor at all, a lot of people are in need of something. You have to give the needy, and God will never forget those uh, a cheerful giver. May the Lord God give us this heart of giving glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.